again. I'm Jupiter Atlas. This is the second of the recordings I found on this hard drive I bought. It started ticking, well, me dropping it like that probably doesn't help that, but it started ticking a lot, which didn't sound good, so I just transferred everything to my computer. I've had hard drives die on me before. I hope you enjoy whatever this is. I'd like to thank C, Molly Valkyrie, and Roxy B for supporting this experiment and the rest of our shows over on Patreon. I would highly encourage supporting us over there at patreon.com slash mushroomstation and exploring what else we got over on mushroomstation.net. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> Now this is weird. So, how did this even get here? Like, okay, I'm not an expert on the mail system, but don't you need a return address? Like, don't they just throw it out? Should I just throw it out? I mean, what's the harm of reading it? I already ruled out anthrax. The last letter wasn't poisoned or whatever. Can you do poison paper? Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, so maybe not. So it's safe, right? Just another piece of fanfiction? I mean, maybe I shouldn't even be recording. Maybe I should just throw it out. But why not just read it? I am still interested. Wait, what if I'm being hacked? How do you even do that? I'm not gonna look that up. Okay, so what if someone is hacking me just to... What? Get audiobooks of their fanfiction? It's creepy, but is it more creepy than whatever Google is doing? Maybe I'm even supporting some weird art community by doing this. That's... Not less gross, but I think that's better. Whatever. <sighs> Fuck it. Okay, so it says at the top here, Season 1, Episode 1. So what? I get the murder episode first, and then we start from the top? That's ominous. A am I just gonna get more of these? I better not. This is already weird. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Cosmo, go! Sure. Uh, let's do this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ghost Hunt Pacific. We are a, uh, ghost hunting show, I guess. I, I mean, we're not planning on, like, killing any ghosts, if that's even possible. We want to investigate common locations with supernatural stories surrounding them and approach them with a more academic mindset. We're not going to go into random abandoned buildings and fake scream like everybody else. <laughs> Maybe don't insult other shows, Cosmo. Be professional. Sorry. Say your name, King. Oh, right. Uh, my name is Cosmo King. I am the architectural expert for this. I know a lot about... Uh, Buildings. Smooth. I'm Fatima Varma. I'm a forensics grad, which means that I'm nasty. 
if we find any blood splatters or footprints or biological material, I'm your gal. I'm sure it'll come in handy. From what she's told me, it's a lot more boring than she implies. Hey! My name is Micaiah Cook. I was a psychology major. I'm here to help us understand the humanity of the spirits we find. They were once people, after all. Well, from what you tell me, that's way more boring than you imply. I didn't say it was exciting. I just personally find it interesting. <laughs> Alright, that's that. So, today we're investigating the, uh, what are we calling this house? It's just 1436 Cherry Drive. The Cherry House. I guess? Wouldn't that make all these houses cherry houses? Okay, fine. The squeaky clean house. Cherry house it is. Should we talk about our history with this place? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we went to college about ten minutes away, and there were all these stories about this house. It's been abandoned since 1974, after the previous owner, Richard Woodcock, <laughs> Fatima, you knew about his name. We discussed. At least get it out before we go in. We need to be respectful. Dick Woodcock! Uh, Yijun and Fatima laugh. I can't really act that one out. <laughs> okay, okay. We can't make jokes like that. This is going to go up on public TV. Cosmo, go. <clears throat> when Mr. Woodcock died, the property went into disarray. At least, so it seems. Uh, some people in the neighborhood thought this was especially a shame because th the previous owner reportedly took really good care of this house and the property had an elaborate garden. When we were in school, we would hear stories of the students throwing rocks at the windows and getting the rocks thrown back out at them. Most people thought it was just some squatter getting mad they were letting air into the house, but it's strange, because there are too many stories of kids throwing rocks and not enough windows. I mean, look, there are still a few intact. Are you getting that? Okay, good. Uh, people stopped throwing rocks, though, after one student got struck in the head. I talked to her. She's fine now. We had a nice phone call. She graduated last year. Oh, good. We had a class together. Well, we also had a class together. Uh, the three of us. Uh, history class. Core class. Super boring. We were all in different years, but just happened to line up together. I put it off because it was boring! Yeah. We had to write a paper on a local historical landmark, and so we chose this house. We did it mostly as a joke. And in three papers about a haunted house? You get it. So we decided to check it out, and... Well, hopefully you'll see. We invited our friend behind the camera to go with us. He works at the station. After everything we saw, we decided we need to do this show, and luckily he was able to make it happen. Okay, enough suspense. Let's go. Wait, we gotta do an equipment check. Oh, yeah. Quickly, though. Cosmo, Fatima, and Makaya all show off their toys. Weird phrasing, but okay. I've got a temperature gauge. Apparently, according to the guy we bought these from, ghosts are cold. I mean, it's not like various spots in the building will be hotter or colder than others based on construction materials or ventilation or anything. All right, King. I've got the EMF reader. 
It's supposed to detect weird stuff in the electromagnetic field. Maybe ghosts do that. And I've got a Spiricon. It changes radio channels at a high rate. This is supposed to be a way for ghosts to talk to us. It goes in with the same theory that ghosts are, in some way, electrical. It's an interesting idea. I don't know if that tracks with them being cold, or otherwise temperature-based, but it's worth testing. Otherwise temperature-based. We're also known as hot. Don't. Wait, what if ghosts are hot? Wouldn't they be just as hot on average as anyone else? Well, anyone can be hot, but what if being a ghost just makes you hotter? I don't like this. Anyway, the parameters of our study are testing for temperature and electrical reactions as detailed in the popular theory about ghosts. The theories are, of course, not written in any scientific journal. We're just basing our assumptions off of media to start. And these are the pieces of equipment we are planning to use for this season. This is an ongoing test. These house investigations are trials in our study to figure out the actual scientific truth of ghosts. All right, everybody, game plan. We're going to check out the windows and circle around and walk through the back door. We are basically mirroring our first time here. We'll do some exploring, see the sights, and then leave. Capture any data you can and say the results out loud. Alert me if you see anything interesting so I can point the camera at it. Sound good? Sounds reasonable. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go already. All right, all right. Makaya opens the garden gate. Good thing we're not trying to be stealthy. I think Richard would know if we were here regardless. We don't know that, but I'm not sure we're in the position to be doing any stealth trials anyway. Okay, let's look through the windows. Okay. Just looks like a rundown house, right? Look at that. Covers on the furniture. Dust everywhere. A few broken bottles. <laughs> we might have to blur that graffiti. Can we do that? Okay, well, just don't look too closely, I guess. And the window itself is broken. Some of the others are boarded up. Oh, and of course the lawn is a nightmare. I think it's kind of nice like this, actually. I enjoy nature retaking human structures. I like it when plants are built into the building. Not really my department, but it's still cool. It's like a collaboration between humans and nature. Humans are nature. Can we take a pause on the plant philosophy? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Let's just talk about this later. You've got a ghost to catch. We're not going to. On film, on film. Let's head to the back. Any ghost is going to be on the inside of the house. Yeah, and we got to get this freaky stuff on camera. Yeah, you're right. This is significant. Hell yeah, it's significant. All right. Who calls dibs on the ghost door? Oh, nah. Fatima, did you want it? I don't know. It's pretty scary. Cosmo, you are so strong. Why don't you do it? What is this? I'm just teasing. Get out of the way. Fatima opens the door. Okay, then. The door closes. Cosmo, do the thing. All right. This back door leads into the kitchen. Now, unfortunately, the kitchen doesn't have any windows, so we can't get the full effect, but already this seems strange, right? This kitchen is pretty clean. It's also empty, but hey, uh, let's check our equipment. Oh, yeah, sure. The EMF reading is registering higher than the outside, but not unusual. The fridge is a big spike, for example, and the outlets. I'm just surprised the power is on, to be honest. The EMF is lower than it was in my apartment, but it's definitely still buzzing at the wiring. Temperature is normal. It's 34 degrees Fahrenheit average. I'm not turning on the Spiricom until we get settled somewhere. I'm going to open these cabinets just so we can get a full picture. Fatima opens a few cabinets. Empty. But look at this. 
Fatima rubs her fingers on the surface of the shelf inside. A little dust, sure, but otherwise nothing. Normally you'd expect dead bugs and maybe even some rats, but there's nothing like that here. That's absolutely weird. Makaya flips the light switch three times. Nothing occurs. Fatima, you said the power was on, right? Well, the lights aren't working. It could still be connected to the power grid and just not be receiving enough voltage to activate anything. This is basically a waiting state. Next room, next room! Hey, Fatima, hold on. This might be a good opportunity for Cosmo to share his theory. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, do it, King. Okay, thanks, you two. I've been thinking about this since we first went in here. So, okay. In architectural engineering, we don't just think about the math that goes into making a building stay up. We also think about how rooms and structures will function and flow. How a building feels is informed a lot by how it's built. There's this theory in architecture about buildings, but especially houses, having a heart. The heart of a house is the epicenter, where all points lead to. Often, it's a living room, but can also be a kitchen or entranceway, or, I think in this case, a bedroom. I think as we get closer to the bedroom, the house will become cleaner and cleaner. Perhaps the heart is where the ghost would be the most powerful. Why the bedroom? Because, from the brief time we had in this house, I noticed that all the main rooms are separated away from each other. There's a central, looping hallway with doors separating all the rooms, all leading upstairs. We didn't actually go upstairs, but I would guess it all leads to the master bedroom. So Dick Woodcock wanted to lead people to the bedroom? Cosmo, Yishun, and Makaya laugh. I got Cosmo with that one. Hell yeah. I don't think he built the house, but yeah. Okay, I love this theory. I don't know why the house would be like that, but it's worth investigating. So let's go and check it out and learn more already. Okay, okay. Fatima opens the door. Here we are in the central hallway. And look at that. The temperature has raised by three degrees already. We've gone from the chilly ceramic and tile towards the nice warm wood. Cock. Hey. Not you. I think you're right. The door closes. All right, all right. Let's check out the front room on the right. It should be one of the most well taken care of on the bottom floor. Even the hallway seems to be getting shinier as we go. Look, there's still some dust on the kitchen door. But as we get closer to the front door, it seems spotless. I don't get why Richard would be doing this. What does the heart even signify? What does power even mean to a ghost? I'm not sure. Let's go up to the bedroom and investigate after we finish in the front room. Sounds good. Here we are. Wait, look. Shoes by the door. And an umbrella in an umbrella stand. Mr. Woodcock is home. He better be. Can ghosts leave their homes? Popular culture would suggest not. Yeah, but the rules are never consistent. Sometimes they can show up in their lawn, or in the streets even. Yeah, I'm not sure what the boundaries are either. Let's actually explore this room, though. Cosmo opens the door. Yeah, here it is. Same as it was. Yeah, this room is totally spotless. Oh, and look at the windows. They're intact. Shiny, even. Wasn't that the window we were looking through earlier? It's closest to the door. Yes. So, from the outside of the house, it looks filthy, but from the inside, it seems clean. Wow, and look outside. It's a whole garden. Oh my god, that hedge is shaped like a goose. That's cute. So what's going on here? Is Dick stuck in the past somehow? I honestly have no idea. What do you think, Makaya? I think Mr. Woodcock had a reputation for keeping this place clean and the lawn meticulous. 
Perhaps his spirit is maintaining the house, and it only matters from the inside because it's not for us, it's for him. And it gets cleaner towards the heart because? Maybe it takes effort, and the heart is where the spirit resides. Perhaps even traveling through the house takes effort. Unfortunately, I can't provide more than theories. Interesting. So that would imply that the act of cleaning is still in some way physical. How real do you think any of this is, anyhow? Fatima picks up a glass ashtray. Like the ashtray? Sure. I mean, we couldn't see any of it from the outside. Well, you are holding it. If you can see it, and you can touch it. A footstep from upstairs is heard. Ah! Fatima drops the ashtray. It shatters on the floor. What was that? Makaya, let's use the Spiricom. Yeah, all right. Makaya activates the Spiricom. Radio stations and ads begin to play in rapid succession. Ow. Unfortunately, it has to be like this. Hello, Mr. Woodcock. Are you there? A pause. Another footstep. The Spiricom flickers the same. Mr. Woodcock, can you say anything to me? A pause. The footsteps continue again. The Spiricom flickers the same. It's coming from the hallway. Let's check it out. I'm turning this off. The Spiricom switches off. Yuzhu, the camera. I'm following. The footsteps have been ongoing. They finally end at the bottom of the stairs. Whoa. You've made a mess. Oh shit, he's right in front of us. I've got it. You are being rude. Excuse yourselves. Yes, sir. We are leaving. Yep, sorry. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Let's hurry it up, please. We don't know what kind of influence it has. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Micaiah opens the kitchen door. This way. Micaiah opens the outside door. Come on! Okay, we're all out. Micaiah closes the door. Is everyone all right? All right? I'm fantastic! We saw a ghost! Yishun, did you get it on camera? I totally got it. Him. Oh, right. Yes. Was that our guy? DJ Triple Dick? Who else could it have been? Fatima. Public TV. Sorry, sorry. Do we go back in? I'm alright to try. Yeah, okay, let's give it a shot. Okay. Fatima attempts to open the door and finds it locked. Oh my god. He locked us out. You did break his ashtray. I didn't mean to. That's all right. We successfully caught a ghost on camera. I consider that a job well done. Yeah. Cosmo, end the episode so we can look at the footage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today we visited the uh, cherry house. We found some pretty substantial evidence of an actual ghost. I would like to review, but I don't think we got any solid reaction from the tools we brought, right? We'll continue testing with them regardless, and we have a lot to think about and review, but I'm just excited to look at this footage and see what we got. This was potent. I hope we get such a strong reaction from our next location. Wait, where is our next shoot again? We agreed on the Argal house, right? Right, right. Okay, we'll see you next time on Ghost Hunt Pacific. Okay, stop recording. I want to look at that tape. I mean, okay. That was better than the first one. More of what I was expecting. I don't know if you're taking criticism, but it's better. It's definitely still weird, though. The ghost hunting tools not working is different. I mean, I guess not that different in terms of real life, but as far as ghost hunting shows go... They usually overblow the results. The science-y angle is an interesting approach. I, I get the concept. I wish they used more of the spirit box, though. Or... Spiricom. 
I guess. Is that even accurate? When was the spirit box invented? Oh. I guess the Spiritcom was a thing in the 80s. The inventor seems... kind of questionable at a glance, but alright. It gained popularity on Ghost Hunters, I guess. That makes sense. Wait, when did Ghost Hunters come out? Ow! 1996. So this show apparently predates, like, every popular ghost hunting show. I mean, I guess there could have been an underground scene before then. The 80s seems so early, but maybe? Alright, well, I guess that's it. This whole thing is still fucking weird, but it's not absolutely stonkery, so... Okay, then. Do you write other stuff besides GHP fanfiction, mystery writer? I kind of don't want to know. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. Whatever. Here you go. If you are listening to this, I want you to know that you are a creep. At least, you're one that I can tolerate for now, but maybe stop, okay? Bye.